Hi guys, so I'm in Gainesville right now with Brennan and Dennis. Hi Dennis. Hey, what's up? What am I doing in Gainesville right now? Walking slowly. You're here to take my graduation pictures. <laughs> yeah, Dennis graduates in two weeks and I'm here with Brennan um, to take some pictures and to explore Gainesville a little bit. Uh, before he graduates. Yay! Let's go have some breakfast. So we're at this place called the 43rd Street Deli. It's kind of like a brunch place and they have so much breakfast stuff. I don't know what to get. Alright, I think I'm getting this the big boy because I like what it has in it. Brennan, what are you getting? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict? Mm -hmm. Where's that? Oh, right here. Right here? I have a whole bunch of them. And then Dennis? So there's Brennan's Benedict right there. That looks awesome. And then Dennis, what did you end up getting? The stuffed croissant French toast. Nice. And then I got the big boy. The big boy for the big boy. All right, that was actually delicious. That was everything that I wanted to start the day. We're gonna go over here to the Shell Station so we can grab some drinks, and then we are gonna go on a trail today. All right, we got ourselves a little uh, lime uh, cucumber Gatorade here, and now we are gonna go hit the trail. All right, so we just parked and uh, we are coming to explore this nature trail over here. All right, this is the Sweetwater Wetland Park. It is a sanctuary where plants, animals, and historic and cultural resources are protected by law. I like that trail. Which trail? This one. It's about like a mile and a half. Yeah, we could do all this pretty much. This isn't, yeah, this is not that's not bad at all. That's the Welcome Center right back there. There's a gate, apparently. That was an interesting placement for a gate. But we've now entered into the marsh, the kind of like the swampy area over here on this boardwalk. So compared to the last trail that Dennis and I did, this trail is really well maintained and really out in the open. It's really windy, uh, so sorry about that. But I think we are taking the longest kind of trail around here. We keep coming from this way. And I brought this for some reason, even though it's like really overcast and I probably didn't need to bring this at all. We turned left right at that fork and right over there on the bank is a gator. Oh my god, look, there's one, two, and then there's a third one in the water right there. Wow. So we're still walking straight, just kind of taking this giant loop all the way around. And then I think we'll just kind of take that trail all the way back to the start of the trail. All right, so Dennis saw a bird and he wants to go sneak up on it. That bird right there. <laughs> He's like, I see you. All right, so I think we've made it to the back of the uh, the wetland here that we are hiking on, and I think we are kind of making our way back around now. I think we've made it like, not halfway, but almost, kind of. All right, so it looks like there is a nesting bird ahead, so they're asking us to move quickly and quietly, and I think that's right there where they have those cones and the tape. Just chilling in the rocks. Look at that. There's another gator right there, chilling on the bank. Right across the street. There's another gator right there. In the marsh. Alright, we walk down a little bit further. Look at this guy right here. He's so big. That guy is just... He's just so big. Look at him. We've almost finished our loop and look, there's a gator right over there. I'm just gonna show you guys all the gators, so that's okay. And there's another one right there. There are a lot of gators today. Wow. All right, finally, finally off the gravel path. Much better on the feet. And it looks like they have some wild horses here. That's cool. That's we, poop. we saw a lot of their poop today. <laughs> and then what's this over here? A working landscape. Neat. All right, I think the last place that we're gonna walk is across this little, little boardwalk area, which is gonna loop back over there, and then that's where we uh, we started, right there. This diagram is telling about the process here that they made to naturally treat the water. <laughs> Aw, little babies. So the adult right there a second ago was getting food and then turning around 
and then putting it in the mouth of its little youngling. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's feeding its little youngling. Oh. Okay. Life with wet feet. So we're out here just kind of walking, enjoying a little trail. Uh, I don't really know what the plan is later. We kind of just came up for just, we got here last night, so we got here late last night. We had uh, dinner with Dennis, and uh, today was gonna be a day to take Dennis's graduation pictures, or some of them, and uh, just kind of fit in what else we can uh, during the week, and then weekend, I guess, and then we go back home to Orlando tomorrow, like late afternoon, probably. You haven't been on this trail yet, have you, Dennis? No. Nice. And you go hiking a lot, don't you? Maybe once every month. Nice. I just bumped into you, I'm sorry. Okay. Dang it, this is a dead end. Why'd you lead us this way? I'll stop. It was me. I did it. Someone is watching you. This is where you wanted to go. Alright, and that was our adventure in the wetland. And I guess we are heading back to the car now. What is this? It's an accessory. You gave me an accessory? Yeah, it goes well with your watermelon shirt. Thank you. Because this could be the greatest show! <laughs> na -na 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 -na. It's everything you ever wanted! <laughs> uh, oh, the big boy felt the big boy breakfast just then. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Alright, so we are back at Dennis's place. I'm just digging in the dirt. What? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? <laughs> that was just in the dirt? Are those dates? Yeah, what are those? Dates. Are they kumquats? Kumquats. I remember that our neighbor used to have these in their yard and they like they stretched over the fence so we would uh, reach up and grab them and we would eat them. They were really good. Those were loquats by the way not kumquats. And then also by the way I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while but last time I was here there was a giant tree in Dennis's front yard and Dennis what happened to the tree? It got cut down. Why? It got hit by lightning. Yeah, remember that? That was crazy. I was there for that. And then I guess it killed the tree, so they cut it down. And then now there's a little garden there. All right, so uh, we left Dennis's place, and we are out and about on the University of Florida campus because I'm taking Dennis's graduation pictures. Dennis is right back there. He's wearing suspenders and a bow tie, and he's looking nice. Hey, Dennis, give us a little look. There he is. Check him out. Where's your bow tie? My hand. Nice. And then uh, this is actually my old graduation cap. And this is his roommate's uh, engineering tassel because you don't get yours until next week, right? Yep. Boo. Dennis, yeah. where are we going? This is the new engineering building. The new engineering building? Yeah. Nice. I don't know the old ones. Wasn't this the, uh, this was the psychology building, wasn't it? Oh, it's over there? So I do remember taking some sort of a class in here. I'm pretty sure that it was psychology, but I don't know what they're doing with their buildings nowadays. This is the engineering sign. And we're gonna take a picture of Dennis in front of this. He's putting on his little bow tie and his little hat. Are you excited? Woo! <laughs> Are you recording this? <laughs> it's an intimate it's moment. Good stuff. And your hair and makeup. It's like the before wedding photos with the groom, like I said. You'll do it for my wedding too, right? So that is the campus psychology building. I did take classes there for sure. So now we are heading across the street here to the rights union, right over there, the student union at UF to take some more pictures. So that is the bus stop. That is the actually the bus stop that I would take to go back to my uh, apartment when I was a freshman here. And then here's the rights union. There used to be a Taco Bell right over there that I would go to like every day. Is, uh, we used to be the Taco Bell. Clearly, I keep talking about this, so this is the most important thing of my whole college education that I experienced. But Taco Bell, and now it's just a game room. Did you grab Taco Bell? Yeah, I did. But nice. before I was here. <laughs> One, two,
things I do to make this guy look good. Hi, so me again. I don't really know what Brennan has been uh, filming the entire time that we've been doing this, but we've been just kind of walking around to significant places for Dennis, like his engineering buildings and fun places. Right now we're gonna head to his very first dorm uh, that he was at. I guess we're crossing the street now. Yeah, so that is the stadium back there that we were at, uh, I guess a few months ago for a, a game that we came for the LSU game. Uh, this is the O'Connell Center back there. That's actually where Dennis is going to graduate in a couple weeks. So uh, we'll be inside there in a couple weeks. And uh, yeah, we're just, it's cool for me to come back to see all these like landmarks and take pictures in front of them. So this was Dennis's very first dorm that he ever lived in freshman year, five years ago, because Dennis is an engineer, so he spent five years here instead of four. He should have graduated last year, but he didn't. Hey Dennis. Yeah. Can you show us your actual dorm from the inside? Yeah. I think it was the fourth one though. The fourth one on which floor? This one or the? This one. The one we're on right now. Okay. Huh. Because there's actually a level down below, so you're on the second floor technically? Well, the one below is for like residents, hall directors. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Oh, you're still recording? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I just didn't know. So this is a must-do for graduation photos. This is the bull gator in front of the stadium. Gotta take a picture of this. All right, Dennis, so uh, we are taking some stadium photos, right? Yep. And we are making our way up to the top of the Florida Gator Swamp to take some pictures up here. Uh -oh. Oh, this is kind of a walk. Uh. So we made it up here. Uh, we're gonna try to go over there to recreate a photo that I took when I graduated like four years ago. So there's the uh, big old Jumbotron. We are at the top of the stadium. This place is so big. Uh, this is the student section when we came for the LSU game. That's where we were right down there. And uh, yeah, there's the alumni section. And it's cool because I recreated the photo right here that I took three years ago when I graduated. And uh, now Dennis, where are we going? To the field. To the field. Whew, we are way up here. Man, this is an intense view of everything. Right down there, that is the, uh, the journalism building. That was my college when I went here and graduated. All right, then it's to the field. What? Woo! <laughs> How about that, man? We just made a full lap around the stadium. I feel good about the breakfast that I ate now. Right? <laughs> now we have one more picture here, and then we're gonna go outside. This is all a pretty major contrast to when we were here for the uh, LSU game, right? Yeah. It was so peaceful. It was rough during that game, man, all the people here. <laughs> That's why we came this weekend, so you could see Gainesville on like a not crazy weekend. That's why we came. Well, and help Dennis. All right, so now for one of the final pictures. The picture in front of the stadium, right here on the bricks. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, dang. All right, Dennis, how was that for some pictures? That was pretty good. Pretty committed, right? I was told I looked damn good. You do look damn good. Uh, now we have one more picture to take by the Alberta and uh, Albert uh, alumni statues, right? Mm -hmm. 
right over here. This is Albert and Alberta. Right, Dennis? And Dennis. And Dennis, holding up the number one. Your hair looks good. Thank you. We got our pictures over there in front of the uh, statues. It's funny because those sorority girls, oh, it's loud. Uh, ah! Those sorority girls have been behind us one step. Every picture that we've been taking, they've been following us and taking our picture ideas. Uh, but now it's on to have some really, really late lunch. It is 4.40, we're having lunch. All right, so we've walked a lot. This is uh, Anderson Hall, that's the Poli Sci building. And then this is Matherly Hall. This probably doesn't mean anything to you watching this, but I used to take some classes here and it was, it was cool. Right now we're walking with Dennis. We've completed all the pictures that we're taking, but he has one more club picture that he has to take, so we're trying to follow him to that. Although we do need to eat some lunch because it's five o'clock. So Dennis uh, just left us to go work on a project. He just took a picture for a club back over there. Uh, we are back over here by University. There's the Gator Wesley uh, Center that I used to go to when I was at college here. And we are free now to walk around and to grab some food. I think we're gonna go to Firehouse Subs because uh, it's right across the street, it's convenient, and we're hungry, so let's go do that. All right, Firehouse Subs. I'm excited, I like it, <laughs> never eat here. All right, these are our Bacon Ranch Firehouse sandwiches. I'm so excited. All right, so we finished our Firehouse, how was it? Yeah, I scarfed it down. <laughs> I scarfed it down, it was <laughs> really hungry. good. Uh, and now we are walking back towards uh, the Rights Union, which is like in the center of campus. This is kind of like the northernmost end of campus. Dennis isn't here, so we're just kind of walking <laughs> around, doing our own thing now. We have his keys though, so we're probably gonna hijack his car a little bit later. Trying to figure out like what to do. We could go to the rights and play some games. Um, I do want to show her a couple little places that I used to go to here a lot, you know? Like when you go somewhere that somebody else has never been and you're like, oh, look at this, I used to spend all my time here. Like pretty much what I do with this every time that I'm here. I'm like, <laughs> oh, look at that, that's new. Oh, that was never here in my day, you know? Somebody can relate, some of you guys can. He's just happy he has a college girlfriend now. You're my girlfriend? So that's the library. We just came from this direction. And this is kind of new here. They recently did this, it looks like. Because it wasn't like this when I was here. That is the UF Bell Tower up there. Somebody is currently performing a song for us right now. That's one picture that we need to still get with Dennis, uh, probably during his actual graduation. This is Turlington Hall, and this is the infamous potato right here. It's really empty right now. This is where most of the uh, political statements happen right here. Right here, this is the Marston Science Library. Spent a lot of time in here doing some research. Right over there, these are the uh, the french fries, as we call them. It's like this cool art thing that they did here a while ago. They just look like somebody just dropped a giant box of french fries right out of the sky. Woo! All right, we made it, Brennan. Mm -hmm. Made it back to the Wrights Union. I know you guys don't really have any kind of like a reference about this college at all, but it's weird because this whole part of the building is new since I was here, and this is the theater building. This is where I did a lot of stuff, mostly my senior year. This is the lagoon, the buses are back there, and there's that's where the Taco Bell was that I'm obsessed with, apparently. You're obsessed. Whatever. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go back to the car, I think. We're gonna put the stuff in the car, and then we might take a little drive. Yeah. All right, so a long walk later, we are heading back to the commuter lot we just came from this direction all the way back over there by the by the rights union and it's funny because when Brennan and I were here for the LSU game there was so much like tailgating going on right here and in this a lot where we're parked right now there was just RVs and stuff everywhere and it's always so cool to see and that's why I wanted Brennan to come this weekend is because it's cool to see this on a game day weekend and then on like a normal student day don't you think yeah it's different. totally different so right now, Brendan is holding the camera, and we are chilling in front of the Lakeside Residential Complex. And this was my very first apartment complex that I lived at when I lived at UF. This is my building right here, and uh, a lot of memories there. It wasn't the best uh, living situation that I've ever had, but it was still cool and uh, packed a lot of memories. So I wanted to show her that because that was that was important to me. Right there, that's where I took the bus every day because Lakeside is the farthest complex away from everything on campus. It took like 45 minutes to walk to really get anywhere from all the way over here. So I would take the bus every day. Uh, but right now we are gonna go back and pick up Dennis, I think, because he is done with his project that he needed to leave us for. So we're gonna go do that. All right, Dennis is back in the car. 
<laughs> Hi, Dennis. Hey. Hey, we picked him up. Now I gotta go to work all night. Oh, do I have to take you home? Yeah. All right, picked up Dennis, brought the camera and everything back to Dennis's place because Dennis has some work he still needs to do, but I think Brennan and I are gonna be doing something ourselves. I still can't get over that not being there, that tree. Uh, so we're getting in my car now, and we're gonna go on some more little sightseeing because that was kind of cut short by having to pick Dennis up and bring him home because he's gonna be working on his project. So, yay, off for more sightseeing. All right, so we are downtown. And right here in front of us is the Hippodrome Theater. Oh, that's it? Oh, it's opening night for a show? Aw. That's awesome. How cool. So, we parked because vlogging and driving is dangerous, of course, and uh, I wanted to show Brennan the front of this place because this place means a lot to me. I used to work here. So I used to do videography for the Hippodrome Theater when I worked here back in college, and tonight is an opening night performance, which is a really Really big deal for them. That's really exciting. I really miss working there. Brennan and I went inside, but I didn't want to film anything inside because there's an art exhibition inside, there's a cinema inside, there's a bar inside. It's just, it's so cool. So that was cool to get to see again. I haven't been back there since I uh, quit like four years ago. Uh, it, was, it was really cool. It was just a little stipend job that I had while I went to UF here where I would do videography for them. And those videos are still on this channel from like four years ago. All right, so we are back in the car. Uh, this is 13th and University up here. I used to live down this way. And the last time that Brennan and I were here, we drove by my old house, so I don't think I need to do that again. <laughs> uh, this sky rise right here still boggles me because when I used to live here, again, I keep saying that, uh, this was just grass, it was nothing. So it's crazy that there's stuff there. I used to park right there to get to campus. I would park there, get on my bike, and then ride my bike where I needed to go on campus when I lived over there. All right, the light's green. We are going back on campus now to uh, go check out Fraternity Row. All right, so that's where we parked earlier. We are heading back this way. This is back towards the area where I used to live at the Lakeside Complex. This is Hume Hall. This is where my brother, uh, Travis, my older brother Travis, this is where he lived freshman year. And then this is the road that'll take you up to the stadium in the area that we were walking around earlier. And uh, we're gonna take this road down to the Fraternity Row. So that's gonna be super fun. All right, so we just made a loop around Fraternity Row. Uh, my battery died, so I didn't film it. But we are coming back up here to the right. So I think we're gonna park right over here. We're gonna go inside. We can see, we're gonna see if we can do anything at the rights, like play some ping pong or something. Woo. All right, so we parked and we are heading into the rights union right back here. I repeat myself a lot, but it's for emphasis. Emphasis. All right, we are gonna pass through the bookstore and then head into the rights. Never mind, the bookstore is closed, so can't do that. Have to go around. Me. That's what we're gonna try to do in there is the ping pong tables. We're not students though, so I don't know how that's gonna work. So here's the thing, we can't go to the game room tonight because there's something called Gator Nights going on tonight, which we can't do unless we have a wristband. We can't get a wristband unless we have an ID. And we can't have an ID if we're not a student. So a little bit of a problem there with that. So I think we are gonna head back to the car then and uh, maybe find a place for us adults, you know? We're not, we're not kids who go to college, we're adults where we can find somewhere that we can go probably for ice cream. Gonna walk by though and get a little look inside at the party going on. But you can't really see it because they put on a lot of like black lights in there. You look so creepy. I know I do, I look pretty creepy. Right over there though, that's the, uh, the bowling alley and there's the ping pong table. Maybe next time. All right, Brennan, we just pulled off at a gas station because we are going to Dairy Queen, somewhere I've not been in a while. And I am more excited than I should be about this. So Roy and I are going to split a banana split. And then for Dennis, we got him a mint Oreo cookie uh, blizzard type thing. Are you excited? I'm so excited. We're getting to split a banana split together. So I was just checking my watch and we've gone about 10 miles today and also for the first time recently I completed all of my rings, my calories, my exercise, and my standing rings. I did it! Yay! What do you think about that? Is that cool? Alright, so we are playing Pokemon Master Trainer, one of the best games of all time. Brennan just rolled her first roll and she's gonna try to catch a bell sprout. You ready Brennan? You have to roll three, four, or five. I'm ready. Go! Woo! Three! Yay! You wanna just take it? You just take it, and then you add it to your collection over here. And now it gets replaced by another one. Gets replaced, Ooh. and you have Squirtle, and I have Charmander as my starter, and then Dennis, of course, has Meow. 
All right, let's see what Dennis is trying to catch. He's trying to catch a Voltorb. Voltorb. You have to roll a three, four, five. Is it always three, four, or five? Oh, it's gonna be a three. Ah, oh, got it. Yay, Voltorb for Dennis. All right, I am trying to catch a Sand Shrew. Mm. Got to roll a three, four, five, right, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we've gotten into the green. Dennis is trying to catch a Starmie. Did he get it? Boom! Nope, so I rolled and we got a Sand Slash. Now I just wish that I caught my Sand Shrew, but I'm still gonna try to catch Sand Slash. Is that a four or five, Dennis? Ah. Drowsy. Drowsy. Are you gonna catch him? Why not? Do it. Four or five? Four or five. You got Ooh. drowsy. I'm pretty drowsy right now, I'm tired. All right, we well, are into the blues. Dennis, you gotta catch a, you didn't do it. You blocked oh. my throwing arm. You rolled it around my arm. So I landed on the unknown dungeon, which right over here I get to choose one of the legendaries. And Dennis, you wanna tell them a little story about how you used to pronounce I used unknown? To, I used to call it the Howard Dungeon. <laughs> I like your beanie, by the way. Thanks, I feel tough. All right, I'm going to choose this one, Zapdos. All right, so I have to roll a six to get it. Hmm, or I could use one of my item cards. I think I'm gonna use my Great Ball, which lets me add or subtract one to my roll. So now instead of a six, you have to roll a five. Oh shoot, you're right. No, oh, didn't help at all. That's a two. <laughs> Choose this one. All right, Brennan got the Howard Dungeon and she got Zapdos too. You have to roll a six? You have to roll a six. Oh God. Oh, three. Bye Zapdos. What's he doing in the game board? Dang. Dang. Box. All right, Brennan got her first red, and it's a Gyarados. Eight. Ooh. All right, you gotta roll a five to get it. Roll a five. You can do it. Whoa, oh, I got you it. got it, you got a Gyarados. Yay. Wanna trade? No. Oh. All right, Dennis just flipped up his first red, and it's a <laughs> Snorlax. You gotta roll a five, right, Dennis? Oh, a six. Oh. All right, so I got my first blue. It's a Venomoth. I have to roll a three or a four to get it. And I got it, yay. Uh, my Pokemon is knocked out of here because Dennis and I battled and he won and he beat my Charmander. All right, Dennis, you got your first Howard Dungeon. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all how a Howard Dungeon's done, all right? Do it. You flip up this one, it's Zapdos again. <laughs> Why is it always Zapdos? <laughs> we shuffle this every time. I'm gonna use Master Ball. You have a Master Ball? Yep. You can add a one, two, three, or four. Fudge! What? All right, Brennan got her first blue. She's got to roll a three or a four to get an Ivysaur. Two. So just a little update here of the game. <laughs> Dennis just rolled five and he's desperately trying to get some sort of a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> Brennan is kicking our butt. She got a Gyarados, she got a Venusaur and a Moltres. <laughs> Dennis can't get anything because he has a Geodude and a Meow. <laughs> And then I got a special item card which let me get a, a red, so I have a Blastoise, I have a Venomoth, my little drowsy, and then Charmander, who I revived. Um, so yeah, Brennan is kicking butt, and she is on her way to Cinnabar Island over here to challenge the Elite Four. Cinnabon? Cinna Cinnabon, Cinnabar. And I'm, I'm coming up behind her, and then Dennis is just kind of struggling. So here's what's happening right now. Uh, Brennan went to Cinnabar Island, and then she rolled on the inter-final battle, and she has entered the final battle. And Dennis and I rolled to see who's gonna be uh, the Elite Four person that she fought, and I won, so I'm about to challenge Brennan, and if she beats me, she's gonna win the game, just right now. Just <laughs> right out of the blue. Do I roll like you guys did, too? We'll, we'll, to we'll, we'll explain it in a second, but so she sent up uh, Moltres, she put two <laughs> attack bonuses right here, and she's about to see who she's about to face. Bruno. Okay, that's, that's the second best. Okay, this is the second easiest person to face. So, he has an attack strength of 11. And we roll uh, a dice here, and then whatever that dice is, is gonna be plus this, plus the amount of the dice that we roll. So he has 11, so hypothetically, if we rolled a six, it'd be six plus six, so then he'd have an attack strength of 23. Are you getting nervous? I'm nervous. The lowest possible he could roll would be a one plus six, which would be 18. Yes, so 18. So hypothetically, if he rolled an 18 and you have a nine attack here with Moltres, and you had two plus fives, and then you rolled a six or something like that, then you would win. All right, you excited? Yeah, I'm nervous. Do I roll first or does she roll first? I, I, think, I think you roll first. I roll first? All right, here we go. Be so, nice. Oh. One. Oh my God. So I rolled a one. So that's one plus six, so that is 18. So if you can beat me with 18, mm. 
then you win at Pokemon like, Master Trainer. If you have a time machine, you can change that role if you choose to. I won't. I'm gonna save that for myself, just okay. in case. Do I flip these now? No, you, you roll first. You roll first. Okay. Oh. You rolled a one! So you have 10, he has 18, you need plus eight worth of attack bonuses. No. Flip them up. Oh, oh no! no. Oh no, you have 17 and he What's has 18! You'd, uh, you'd have to re-roll and both the attack bonuses to be discarded. <laughs> Dang! I just lost! You, just roll you didn't lose, now you're, just, you're kicked out and you have to keep going around again. Alright, I finally flipped up my first real red one and I didn't get it. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Sorry you didn't win, by the way. That's okay. Alright, another update. I caught Mewtwo, so that's cool. You putting any attack bonuses out? <laughs> Brennan and Dennis are about to fight. Uh, Brennan is putting up her Moltres versus Dennis's only Pokemon Geo dude. <laughs> All right, so Brennan just entered into the uh, Elite Four again, and she got Gary. Dennis rolled a four. That's twenty six. You have Moltres. Go ahead and roll, Brennan. I guess you can do it. One. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Ah oh, man. Dang. All right, so Dennis rolled a four. He's got a Charmeleon over there and two attack bonuses against Lorelei, the easiest of them. Now, Brennan, you can roll right. the die. Oh, is that yeah. a 17? Six. Six. Yeah, Bruno! All right, so I entered the final battle. I'm facing against Bruno. I'm right here. I'm going with Mewtwo right now. And I'm gonna put down two attack bonuses oh. right here. And uh, this is it. And we decided that if I don't win, then the game is over because we've all tried and it's midnight right now. We've been playing this for two hours. Mm -hmm. Is that right, guys? All right. Should I go first? Yep. Five. Nice. Now Dennis is rolling. And he rolled... Is it cocked? No, it's six. It was six. So that's six plus six. Which is 12 to 23. 23? And you're at 14 right now showing. So if you have two plus fives, you win. What, I have 14? Mm -hmm. 20. So I lost. All right, so we ended up uh, giving up and uh, kind of ending the game uh, because we couldn't get the attack bonuses that we needed to beat the Elite Four. Uh, so yeah, that game is a lot more complicated for kids than it needs to be because we couldn't really handle it. But we still had fun, we had a good day today and uh, we're gonna have some more fun tomorrow. And uh, yeah, now it's past midnight and everybody's showering and going to bed. So have a good day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't even know if this ended up being one video or if I split it up into two because we did a lot today. But see you tomorrow.